This, it, this cannot be a thing. I can't, you can't get in the feed bins. And you can't eat rabbit food. Or dog food, or pig food, or horse food, or any animal food. What do you have to say for yourself? Nice. So just a little introduction. My name's Caitlin, and I'm going to be starting a blog. And my husband's going to be a part of it. He's at work today. Doesn't really know I'm doing this yet. And you'll also be seeing our kids, Scarlett, who's two and a half, and Georgie, who's six months old. Yay! And we, I, I just, I really felt that I wanted to start this and really just kind of document what we're doing and we have um five acres in texas and we have started kind of a mini homestead and kind of by accident it wasn't always our plan um we lived in a neighborhood a couple years ago and we when we were talking about having kids we really were scared about like every everything just everything in the world right now every you know where your food comes from and how kids are kind of being raised with a lot of technology and you know I think things a lot of parents are concerned about and so we decided to make this move we wanted our kids to have cleaner food we wanted cleaner food we wanted to become healthier um, when I got pregnant with Scarlett we decided okay this is what we're doing we need to go to a place where we can have a garden and have chickens and that grew into what it is now. We've only lived here two years but I can buy a lot of animals in two years. So, um, but it's taken a lot of time to get things going. It wasn't like, oh, we moved to a farm and bam, we, you know, we're able to do all this. It takes a lot of money to start doing things. We bought this house, it had nothing. It was a house on five acres. There was no fences, and not only was there nothing, there was also a crazy amount of cedar trees around it. So my husband for the past two years has been cutting cedar trees on a weekly basis and he's nowhere near finished. So we got this place and like three weeks after we moved here, we weren't even unpacked yet. I went and bought chickens and we had nowhere to put them. And I figured that would give my husband the push he needed to start a coop like while we're trying to unpack and get everything else. So we had four chicks living in our laundry room and his, uh, my father-in-law and mother-in-law came down and they built... Um, a coop and a little run and we start that was it that was like the start of it and Anybody that has had chickens will tell you it's like a gateway drug once you get chickens You feel like you can have any farm animal <laughs> then, So now we have I mean just a crate. I don't even know how many chickens uh, They are all free-ranging That is one of my biggest things is I want the animals that we eat and that we have I want them to have good lives where they're able to be in the grass every day where they're able to live it's okay where they're able to live how animals should live how they're I mean yes we eat we eat them we slaughter them and butcher them and eat them but that's that's something that deserves respect in our minds and we really that's what we wanted to do we wanted to have you have to go get clothes on because I can't film you when you're naked okay um, we're just trying to raise our kids in, in what we think is the best the best way to do it and of course it's not perfect and it's hard and um and any parent knows that it's never it's never gonna be perfect it's never gonna be exactly what you were thinking but we're doing our best to give you know, Scarlett and George, a different kind of childhood than we had and one we kind of both dreamed of, me and my husband. Probably, probably me a little bit more with the animals. But, yep, there's the pig running with a whip. Scarlett, put some pants on! Charlie, why do you have a whip? I don't understand.
<laughs> and as you can see, it's quite fun. So, um, definitely, I, I'm, we're going to do that. I haven't even talked to my husband about doing this. I'm going to tell him today because it was kind of a last minute decision. I'm doing this in case there is somebody out there that wants to learn about homesteading or somebody that likes a little bit different style parenting because we're definitely a little bit different I think than the norm and I'm definitely I'm one of those people that I think all parents when they're trying to take care of their kids and when, when they're making an effort I think you're doing a great job I'm not saying do it like me but it's just our way of doing things so if you're interested in that or homesteading or animals chicken goat pig mini horse rabbit care any of those then you might want to watch our videos I'm gonna to try to do them I'm gonna try once a week for right now because I'm very new to this and I'm not exactly sure how if I'm going to be able to come up with like a video a week that's gonna entertain people but hopefully tomorrow we are slaughtering a rooster. So I might include that in this video. I might make it the next video. I'm not sure. But yeah, stick around. Might be fun. His name's Nate. Scarlet! You... Well, honey... Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Charlie, you ate her rose. <coughs> Honey, let me tell you. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Do you want to go find another flower? <laughs> We're a little tired. Hey, hey, hey. That was the first rose of spring, and Charlie just ate it like it was nothing. Yeah. Well, she's in trouble. Charlie, you're on a diet. Charlie, you're on a diet. That's exactly right.